That's Martin Lapin of Alternative Heating Solutions. If you seen some of my posts, you might know I have a waste oil boiler in the shop that I've been heating with the last couple of weeks. Well, looking at the forecast, it is not going to warm up anytime soon. So, I'm going to go ahead and start the G200. And what we have here is, if you remember the hydronic wood heat page, last February we had a contest, guess the number of cords. We had like 100 ash logs drug out of the woods and processed them. Well, this wood's from that. The wife stacked it shortly after I cut it, and it's been covered all summer. It's actually touched dry. Around 20 to 22 would be a little better, but I ain't gonna complain. It'll burn. Now, you might have heard of the charcoal trick and maybe have a vague understanding what people are referring to. What we did here is I have a, actually a round right over the nozzle so the charcoal can't fall through and a little bit of kindling under the charcoal and that's a 16 pound bag of Kingsford. You get the charcoal lit and get it going and you have an instant coal bed instead of having to build one up little pieces at a time. And this will literally get her up and gassing in no time. Now, it's been six minutes since I put the, I used the LP torch to light the charcoal. Ripped the bag in half, threw that on top. A little bit of extra kindling. And like I said, six minutes. No smoke. And it's just starting to gas. About eight minutes now since I put the torch to it. Zero smoke. I would highly recommend this method if this is your first season with a gas flying stove. That way, right off the get go, you know how it should be running when you have a coal bed. There's no question about whether you started it properly. Let's see how it's gassing now. there you go from no fire to gassing in seven minutes roughly so yeah there's well nothing out to stack because there is nothing to see been running about 25 minutes now water's gone up 13 degrees gassing good and strong and hard So yeah, the charcoal trick works very well. Especially like I said, if it's your first time running a gas fire and you haven't started it yet, go grab yourself a bag of Kingsford. Works very well. The other thing you can do is come the end of this season, next spring, go ahead and fill it normally. Let it burn about half up, then just shut the power off to the stove and walk away from it for three or four days. Let all them coals and that charred wood get good and cold. Pull that out, along with the coals, and store it in a galvanized trash can or any metal um, bucket or whatever you have. Don't use plastic. Then it works just like charcoal, but you don't have to pay for it. My wife will be happy when she gets home from her mother's. She prefers this running than the waste oil boiler. And even though everything does get incinerated in the bottom, it still smells like wood a little bit to where, well, waste oil boiler just stinks. And I'm gonna save what oil I have left just in case I need to leave on our fact-finding mission this winter. This has been Martin Lappin of Alternative Heating Solutions. If the women don't find you handsome, at least they can find you handy.